All right, here we are. Another match analysis here in the Kalahari Classic Grand Final, Game 1. This is between the, the red team from the Zambezi division. We have 7316X Excalibur and 60470S Semicolon. Both very good teams, Semicolon especially. Well, I've heard a lot about them. On the blue team from the Sahara division, we have 38141B Pybotics and 4082B Freedom Gladiators. You should probably know them if you've watched my channel before. Anyways, this match is starting up here. There's the Autonomous, and you'll notice that the Autonomous is very important in these very high-level matches. Because in these matches, every team has a ring mech. This team has a very good ring mech. This team has a very good ring mech. This team has a very good ring mech. And this team has a very good ring mech. Which means that they can all fill up these alliance goals with about 10 rings each if they're perfect. And that gives them 30 points. That's worth as much as a robot bal balancing on the platform, right? And so if both of the teams can do that and they can put goals on the platforms very well, probably fill it up in the last 30 seconds plus to a park, what's going to be the tiebreaker here? Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be one of these neutral goals because there's only three and there's four robots, so one robot's not going to have a neutral goal. So whichever team, Alliance, can possess that one more neutral goal is probably going to have the edge. And so for that, the Autonomous is very important. And that's why we're going to take some time to talk about it. So here's semicolon robotics. You'll notice they have this. This is this is one trick they do for the auto that we're going to talk about later, actually. They have this little uh, cover right here. So that means if someone challenges them, this cover is actually going to come down and stop that person's clamp from being able to clamp on the goal because it goes right on top of the goal. This means that they have to position the robot really well and be very accurate with their driving. But it also means that they can deny a lot of grabs from other teams. So blue team, knowing this, they actually place their robots to not challenge uh, semicolon. They place their robots both on the same side to get the middle neutral and this neutral up here. Now, the reason they placed uh, the 4082, 4082, no, 4082B, yeah, 4082B bot right here and not down here to challenge instead of going directly on with these guys is because there's actually a shorter path from up here. From up here, you can one, sit under the, kind of, actually, I'm, thinking, I'm not sure if you can contact that tile, but you can sit closer to these tiles because there's no goal here blocking you so you can sit further down and also there's no rings in your way which might slow you down a tiny bit so this is going to make them a tiny bit faster as you can see visibly on the field these guys are closer to the corner while these guys are further away from it those two arrows right there and right there shorter arrow on the left side and then of course the other two robots are collecting their free goals because if you only have two robots challenging the other two robots be getting their free goals so pybotics are going to be grabbing their free goal Let's see how the auto plays out here as we run it. Bank. 4082B actually beats that Excalibur team to the goal. Uh, probably because of their placement. They were just faster. And they get back. So now, blue team is at a huge advantage. They're up in goals. Red team has to do something. They can't just get rings. They can't just do a cooler park. They have to either hope that blue team messes up horribly in getting rings or messes up their park horribly. That's the only way they can win. Or they have to steal one of these goals back or they're going to be down. And that's actually kind of doable right now because the thing with starting both robots on this side is that this alliance goal is exposed. So if one of these robots is smart and very quick, they can run over and grab it. But if this robot comes over and grabs it, that means they're exposing their own alliance goal. And so then they can just trade and grab that goal. And if this robot runs over and grabs it, they're exposing this goal, which I guess this robot could come and grab. So let's see what they do here. The this this red alliance. Let's continue the match. Of course, the auto's running here. The auto ends up in about two seconds. Bang. Paused. Divers pick up their controls and the round starts. So immediately here, we're gonna see instead of going for the open goals. Uh, Excalibur is going to try to challenge one of the teams for their goal, which is a smart strategy because there's getting one of those goals isn't like a guarantee. It, it is denying them a lot of points, but they can always get it back later, and it's much nicer to grab one of these yellow goals. So they go for that, which might be a mistake, might not. We don't know. Just have to see what happens. It depends how well they do it. They go over there, and it seems like they're having trouble with their challenge. Either that, or uh, just Pybotics is driving very well. They're at the top. You see they're at the top of the arena. Let's play that back. Driver control starts. Uh, and a lot of these robots are very well balanced. Driver control starts, by the way, and 4082B immediately darts around here because they don't want to lose this goal. This goal is a very vital one for them because they have a lot of points. They dart down there. 
and already block it. Now, now they're shielding it, so no one can really grab it. They take their time, they go around, they grab it. Pybotics lift that goal, lift their goal up in the air on their side. And this makes it much harder to grab, because if you lift it in the air, they have to match your height. So you can move up and down and up and down, and it's much harder for them to grab it with their claw. Unless they have a huge claw, like some teams are doing, where they have just a massive claw to grab anything from anywhere. But then they're usually compromising some kind of ring mech. Anyways, blue team, they have a win condition right here. If they can fill up both of these goals, and they can put all the goals on the platforms, and have an extra goal, they win. Because their opponents are down a goal. So if they can do everything they can, right now they win. Their opponents literally cannot play good enough. So they have both really good ring mechs. If that's 4082B team and that uh, the Pybotics team, and they fill up these goals very quickly. You can see immediately 4082B almost done now. And there, already, at 1 minute 30, that's 15 seconds into the match. They already fill up, filled up their goal. Now they just have to hold. And so this is a very comfortable position for them. Right now, if the red team would want to win, all... The only thing they could do is probably do a double park and fill up all the goals. So they should probably be going for rings right now. But they go for the challenge. They get a nice grab, but it doesn't work. And this doesn't seem to be working out for them because both of these blue teams are very good at, at stalling. They're get a proper grab, and they're just going to sit in the corner now. The corner is a very safe spot because it's hard to grab you. And it's also safe just to run around. So there we go. We see Pybotics eventually after uh, doing a little bit of running around the field, going around here like that. They eventually, well, they, they can't go into the corner right now. They go drive around, and they eventually fly into the corner, the corner being a very safe spot for them. The only thing they're worried about right now is getting their little goal grab. But when, when, when they're in this position right here, it's actually very hard to grab that because if you go around and you try to, I know we can't see it, but if you try to grab their, their neutral goal, they're holding high in the air, they can just move it up and down, and you actually can't get around here to grab that goal from behind them. So very comfortable position for them as we see... Uh, semicolon, go down to the bottom to try to challenge 4082B for their goal, but that doesn't work because semicolon currently has a goal, so they can't actually steal that. Not a lot of rings left in the field. I would, I would love to see some, I would love to see some match learning right now out of the red team to try to just get some rings because rings are going to be a big decider for them here. We see later even that they they could have used some more rings to make this game a little bit closer. But right now we're just see blue team, they're just holding out. All they need to do right now is defend because they won the auto and they did what they need to do. They got their rings. And after that, they have a nice win condition. So it's really up to the red team to try to win this game. And so they hold off. They have right now 13 seconds left. They just got a hold. They do some nice turning. Uh, semicolon does not properly steal that goal. I don't think shoving their own neutral into it's really going to help them that much. 4082B, nice lifting on that goal. Lift it higher than the claw. And last 30 seconds, fast approaching. Bang, last 30 seconds. Rise that happens. 4082B, straight into a park. You can tell they respect their opponents a lot because they are not, they're taking risks to get more points. Because they they totally respect their opponents enough to think of their opponents, yeah, they, they could probably still beat us. Even though they've practically won the game, they still try to max out on points. And this is fairly risky here, actually, putting this goal on the platform right there on the edge. And you'll see it's if they do an even 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 riskier move now of dropping that new, that alliance goal and even putting that on the platform. Because think about this, right? With 234 points, and you know, you got that goal there with rings and this goal here with rings, the only way your opponents are gonna beat you now is by doing a double park and filling up on rings. Their opponents didn't fill up on rings, but they are going to go for a double park. And so their opponents then go for the double park, and it seems like their respect actually worked out because their opponents get the double park in the end. After a little bit of struggling, their opponents do a really nice balance. And so this game in, was actually still winnable for their opponents, but they, they went for the maximum of points. They didn't, they didn't slouch there at the end, even, even after they won it. And so, very nice match coming out of that blue alliance. Nice match coming out of the red too, but it just it just wasn't enough. They they spent a lot of time, kind of, not really doing much. I know they were maybe trying to steal some neutral goals, but they they could have maybe gotten some more rings. Maybe I I would like to see semicolon drop their neutral at some point. I know that that's a little bit dangerous, but you kind of have to do it to win. So they could try to steal a goal. Maybe even try to steal that alliance goal or hold it in the back. But I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. It was honestly just a very nice game out of that blue lines. And it, it, it all came out of the auto. The auto positioning. Right here. 
Positioning here, instead of all the way over here, was such an advantage for them. These guys could have moved maybe down here. Um, I don't know if semicolon had an auto that go like that. But that's definitely something to think about. Have your auto be able to go on an angle so your teammate can start on the same side as you. Because a lot of the times, you might want to start on the same side. This is actually the optimal route for both teams to start on the same side here. Other than that, though, I don't think there's much to say on the, about this match. There's other matches in this series that I will be covering over the next few days. We can talk more about autos. Yeah, see you then.